Listen, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. For unto us a, a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, ever, Everlasting Infant Father, Prince of Peace. And so it came to pass, as predicted by the prophet of Isaiah, a child was to be born in the town of Nazareth. God sent angel Gabriel to a young woman who was to be married to, the, to a man named Joseph. The virgin's name was Mary. Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid. You will give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne, and he will live forever. How can this be, and I am not Mary? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of God will overshadow you. So the child to be born will be called the Son of God. This is as God promised, and God always keeps his promises. The Lord shall be. May a word to me be fulfilled. Joseph was a good man who obeyed both the law and God, but once he found out Mary was pregnant, he was uncertain what to do. Therefore, an angel sent by God appeared to him in his dream. Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. But she's with child. She is to give birth to the Son of God, a gift from the Holy Spirit. The child will be a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did exactly what the angel of the Lord commanded him to do. He took Mary as his wife. I, Caesar Augustus, decree that everyone should be counted. The citizens will be taken, and each will go to his hometown. Schneer. So Joseph went from Nazareth to Bethlehem, the city of David, with Mary, who was expecting a child. Innkeeper, please, we need a place to stay. There are many people in town to be counted. I'm sorry, but there's no room. Hello. Please, my wife is with Charlotte. Do you have any place we can stay? I'm sorry, the inn is very full. But I have a barn where I keep the animals. If you need a place to sleep, you, can, you may stay there. We will stay in the stable. Thank you. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have the baby. She wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger. What's that light? Who's there? Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. A baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Glory to God! And on earth, peace to those on whom his favor waits. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Savior has come. Let's go find this child and worship him. When the shepherds saw the child lying in the manger, they praised God. The shepherds spread the word about the child, telling everyone the good news, and all who heard it were amazed. Far away 
from Bethlehem, wise men from the east watched the stars at night. One night they saw a star shining particularly bright. They knew this star meant that the special child had been born. Look, the star of Bethlehem. It is a sign we've been waiting for. The child has been born. Come, let us follow the star and we shall take gifts to honor the child. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh will do for such a sweet child as the So the wise men traveled across the desert to find Jesus. Once they found him, they bowed down to worship him. They weighed their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. This is the true meaning of Christmas, the true story of the first Christmas. Now at this time of year, we celebrate Jesus' birth because he brought the good news to the world about God's love for us. Glory to God the highest, and on earth, peace to men. Glory to God the highest, peace to men on earth. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men.